This is a uh, 2003 Chevy Malibu. It's uh, got a horrible engine knocking noise. But it's real bad, and I just wanted to show you guys what it sounds like. Uh, getting ready to pull this engine out and take it, take it apart, see what's wrong. And I got another engine to put in, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys what it sounds like. Okay, well, as you guys can hear, that's a pretty bad noise for inside the engine. <laughs> All right, hey you guys, this is the uh, 2003 uh, Chevy Malibu with the engine knock. Getting ready to drop this engine. Just this isn't really necessarily a how-to video. I'm just kind of showing you guys an overview of what it, what's going on, what what we did, and uh, the way we're doing it is we're using using a old swing set <laughs> as an A-frame and a come along and basically hooking this up to the to the points here for the engine this is just for support now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to we're going to lower this engine transmission and engine all together and lower it out the bottom and really so far what I've done is uh, remove these three bolts here for the for the struts on both sides took those out uh, sitting here was the, the fuse box took this fuse box out to get to the fuel lines down below uh, popped the fuel or fuel lines back there popped took the battery out uh, and that's that's the battery and took out the you know the air intake uh, this plate here was the plate that held the fuse box in and it was just a uh, the fuse box slipped in here and it had a, it was pinned and we just raised up on the fuse box and slipped it out took all these bolts out just to get better access uh, right here is the uh, transmission cable somewhere let me find it here it is this transmission cable pulled this out and this part right here was sitting right down there on that little uh, little tit sticking up on the transmission would pop the loop off and then this bracket right here you pulled this you, all you do is you pull this clip out push this in and then pull the linkage out you don't want to mess with any of this to mess with the adjustment but the majority of this thing was just getting all the electrical connectors off and there's a quite a few and really that was the I think the hard about the hardest thing to do was get all these harness clips out there's a whole lot of clips like these right here holding the harness in a uh, whole bunch of connectors you know going to the fuse and blocks and down below all these plugs and there's basically plugs all, like all on top here like the EGR and you know all these sensors and basically took out the compressor to, uh, to get it out of the way and just hold it out of the way uh, um, we took off the alternator and this belt, but uh, I don't know that we actually actually had to. But uh, what we're going to do is um, what we're planning on doing to get this thing out the bottom is we're supporting it with the with the with the come along, taking the weight of the engine, and we're going to leave this mount in place. Uh, this engine mount for now, we're going to leave this in place, and down here this transmission mount going to leave in place and I'm going to start taking out all the bolts on this uh, taking out all the bolts on the subframe that hold it to the to the unibody and uh, going to lower it down then once we get all the, the get get all the subframe loose then we're going to come in here and, and loosen up this trans this mount here 
it, where it mounts. Take that bolt out and take the two bolts off on the other trend on the other mount. Lower this thing. That's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully this will work, but uh, we contemplated whether we should tear the tear the engine in half and uh, take it out transmission. I mean, take out the engine, then the transmission, and but we looked at it and we thought it'd be easier just to lower it out the bottom. And so just to get it pretty high, and really down here, I can just leave the strut in place. Uh, leave the rack in place uh, all I did was have to take the caliper off and hang the caliper up using wire and I'm hanging it so really let me show you this frame I'm talking about hopefully uh, now that we got this thing taking the weight we're just gonna take out all these a lot of these subframe bolts like here uh, you know a lot of these we're just gonna pull this whole frame uh, there's these bolts here and if you follow along I think there's only a couple of four maybe but I'm gonna lower this whole subframe lower this thing down and drag it out and uh, once I get this thing out I'll show you guys a little bit more but uh, hopefully that'll give you guys a good idea okay guys quick update let me show you the uh, took the uh, subframe bolts out let me show you what they look like look how long these suckers were this one was the one there was these four bolts on each side of the frame there was two in the back the one in the middle and this one was up front uh, okay so basically the one up front was right in this region right up you follow you follow the frame the subframe up to the front and it's like right up here in the front the next bolt was right here and then there was two in the back here and now there was four on each side so now now that I got the subframe bolts out I'm gonna take these two I'm gonna take these mounts out getting ready to take I'm just gonna try taking this bolt these two bolts out this this is the one of the motor mounts here I'm gonna take this side out then the transmission bolt and then should be able to lower this thing. I'll give you guys an update in a minute. This was just, uh, this wasn't a 15 minute project. This was like an all day event. So uh, my camera doesn't store that much. So I'm just kind of giving you guys an overview. Uh, but for me, the hardest thing for me was uh, just reaching all these plugs. And they have the little plastic pieces that they're really a pain in the butt to, you know, the plastic stuff breaks easy and Sometimes they're tricky, some of them are easy. That and really the, the fuel lines back there, they're in a bad spot. So man, you gotta take this, take this stuff out to reach them. And the last thing we're gonna do is take out the steering gear. Uh, to do that, I, I, uh, I locked the steering wheel in place. As you guys can see, I have the steering wheel straight and I tied it with my uh, seatbelt. I'm gonna hold that steering wheel in place while I remove the steering gear down below. Yeah, I'm just gonna lower lower the engine and transmission and subframe all in one piece. Lower it out the bottom and then drag it out and pop in the new one. And that's it. Hopefully that'll let you guys just... Oh yeah, before one more thing I forgot to mention was the uh, taking out the uh, exhaust. Down there is the exhaust flange. There's two bolts on the exhaust. I had to pull out two bolts and that thing was pretty hard. We had to lay underneath, use a, some long extensions and reach up and use a long breaker bar with a pipe on it because those things are so tight and rusted and nasty and break them, break them both free. But we broke the bolts free. You can reach them from right here and, and you know touch them from this way, but they're kind of hard to get out. But So that's pretty much it so far. All right. Okay, getting ready to lower this thing. A couple clicks at a time. All right, a little update here. All right, well, we lowered, lowered this engine. About to come out the bottom and kind of got hung up on the brake line here. This bracket, uh, taking this bracket off of here and scooting the whole brake line. See that 
that brake line was under the engine kind of and in the way so I just took this mounting and pushed it over okay here's that brake line I was talking about this thing was connected to the to the the frame here and so it popped it out all the clips and it was still in the way so took taking that taking that caliper bracket on the on the on the unit body un, unbolting the bracket and shoving this forward allowed me to pull this uh, this brake line out of the ways to lower the engine that's what was holding us up and also I forgot to take out the this ABS module here is mounted to the frame right here we're gonna have to just pull these two bolts here and so the ABS module will stay up and then we pull her out just be here looking too. Getting ready to lower this thing. It's just, we're just going down like an inch by inch and uh, looking for things that are hung up. That's about on the floor. Well, it's about on the ground. Backside got about four more inches or so. Got, got the engine and transmission and cradle all lowered out the bottom. I'll give you guys a got this sitting on the ground. Now what we're going to do now to get this engine out from underneath is uh, going to pull a pickup truck up here and use that uh, come, along. come along there and, and drag it on out slowly. But we, we got her disconnected. Let me show you what we got here. This was fun, but we just taking it all out. It's resting on the ground, and uh, yeah, that's the update there. But we pulled it all out the bottom transmission, everything, engine, cradle, suspension, everything. Let me show you what the engine bay looks like. Yeah, it's pretty much everything hanging there. Whole lot of wires. Uh, she's out. All right, give you guys an update when we're getting ready to wrench it out, winch it out of there. But that's uh, that's what we got. Let me take a step back and show you guys. Yep. All right. Just gonna watch for it. Alright, let me get out of the way here. <laughs> hey. Mowing over Hey, that's good there, I guess. And she's out. Yeah, she's out.
Boy, that was fun. Pulled it all out. We did all that work just so we could change the plugs easier. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, she's a uh, she's out. Hey, all right. No, now we gotta go do the other one. Fun, fun, fun.